Are you recording it? Yeah, I'm taking pictures and video no, for my safety. You know, no, you have to shut that off. It says right here, members. That's supposed to be recording, so if you have to record, you have to step out. This is 100% public. This is a public lobby. Step outside. This is a if public you lobby. Record, step outside. I'm going to ask you to de escalate a little bit. You need to go outside. I'm going to ask you to step outside. Because then it's handcuffs afterwards, so step outside. I need to file a complaint, Sergeant. Are you denying me services? No one is going to help you. You're violating my constitutional rights, and that's unacceptable. We, the people, will fight against tyranny with everything we have. Hey, what's up guys? The Long Island Audit here, back again with another video. Today we're at the New York City Police Department's 105th Precinct here in Queens, New York. We are here today, as always, to peacefully exercise our First Amendment right to film in public and publicly accessible areas, to promote transparency and accountability within our government, and to ensure that our public servants recognize our rights and treat us with respect. We are also here to file formal complaints against the Sergeant Korchemet and Officer Kakuza, who unlawfully arrested me, stole my freedom, stole my property. We're here to hold them accountable, file formal civilian complaints. Let's hope that they respect our rights here. Let's get into it. All right, guys, so we're just getting inside the 105th precinct here. Hopefully they take our complaint. Hopefully our rights don't get violated again. That would be not a good day. Do not want to lose my freedom. That's for sure. So as you guys can see, there's nothing we're recording that's sensitive at this point. I don't understand why they make a big deal telling you they just hate transparency and accountability. All right, make sure I'm gonna help you. Hi ma'am, how are you? Good. I'm looking to file a, a complaint against an officer. Okay, what's coming on? Um, it was at the 61st precinct, I would say Monday. Why, why that look? What's wrong with the 61st precinct? Are you, are, you, are you recording it? Yeah, I'm taking pictures and video no, for my you safety. You know, no, you have to shut that off. It says right here, members, you're supposed to record me. So if you have to record, you have to step out there. Sorry. You cannot record here. Why would that be, though? I just told you. But that's, that's, that's not a law, ma'am. Okay. Sir, I'm, 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 I'm recording for my safety. Okay, I, you cannot record here. I'm recording for my safety, ma'am. You ma cannot record here. This I'm recording for my safety. I, I'm I, trying to file a complaint. Here, sir. You cannot record. I, my freedom and my property was um, taken from me by the sorry, NYPD. I, uh, sir, my freedom. You can't do that I'm here to conduct business, sir. You're sergeant? Yeah. Sergeant, I'm here to conduct sorry. business. My freedom okay. and my and my freedom, my that's freedom. Fine. But listen, my freedom. But I'm here to conduct business. What I'm saying is I'm here to get services. I, my freedom and my property was taken from me by the NYPD. I'm here recording. Yes, I was arrested. If My you freedom. Want to record, we're going to record also so, outside. You, I mean, if you want to send somebody outside, you can do that uh, under do. threat you of arrest. I have a right to record it's, in public. It's, it's I have the right, right to record the NYPD in the course of their duty. This is 100%. This is 100% public. This is a public lobby. This is a public lobby. I'm going to ask you to de-escalate a little bit. I'm going to ask you to de outside. Because step then it's handcuffs afterwards, I'm, so step outside. Sir, Go ahead. Right I, that sign is not a law, Sergeant. Yes, it that, is. No, it's it is not a law. It is not a law. Step outside. What law is it? Go outside, pass the what sign, and you it? can record all you'd like. What law is it? What law is it, You cannot it, record in the precinct. That is the law. It's not it is obstruction. obstruction. Sir, back. I need Go. help filing a complaint. That's what I came here to do. Who's going to help me with that? That's, you cannot record inside so the So send the somebody out here to help me file a complaint. Take your foot, your foot, take your foot up the door. So, okay, so send somebody out here to file a complaint. I'm gonna have I want all your badge you. numbers. I'm I want gonna, all your badge numbers and names. You have it right there. So are you, you have it right there. I need to file a complaint, Sergeant. Are you Stop. denying me services? Someone is going to help you. <laughs> wow. Wow. So under threat of arrest, he said I was going to be in cuffs. Do you see? Look, the NYPD always watching us, right? Wow. You see that, ladies and gentlemen? Do you see the thugs at the NYPD? 
You really can't. I'm here to file a complaint about my rights being violated, and they're about to violate my rights yet again. Isn't that just insane? You want to be put in cuffs? <laughs> no, I don't want to lose my property again, and I definitely don't want to lose my freedom again for six hours for exercising a constitutionally protected activity. That's for sure. See how they all just gang up on you like, like a gang. They all just come at you. It's insane. And this is like a joke right here that every single NYPD vehicle has courtesy, professionalism, and respect. That is a joke. That is literally a smack in the face of the public. That is a public lobby. So I guess Queens is no better than Brooklyn, huh? We're going to wait out here. Hopefully they send somebody out here so at least we can get our complaint in. Insane. Hey, good morning. Uh, who is it? Good morning, sir. How you doing? Hey, how are you? Officer Fowl. Oh, officer what? Officer Fowl, Shield 12125. How you doing? Hey, how are so you? So just seem to be recorded by my police body in one camera. Sure, I'm okay. in public. No so, problem. Hey, it's okay. So first of all, appreciate you hanging tight, you know, the inconvenience, whatever it is. Uh, so just you know, you can't record inside police precincts, any police precinct, whether it's New York City, outside. Do you do the, uh, what do you call it? Do the audit stuff? I'm here to file a complaint. Oh, okay, okay. So I spoke with my supervisors, spoke with my other officers. So we provide you information. I believe it's a you want me to complain in regards to the 6th one precinct? 61st precinct. 61st, yeah. okay. So we gave the information for CCRB. You can call the hotline at this phone number or you can file online at newyorkcity.gov slash CCRB uh, complaint. I'll let like to file one in person here. Do you guys don't you, you guys take complaints here? It's a whole thing. I, like I said, it'd be easier for you just to call them or I know, but I, I, I would want I want to file it here. If I can't go in, if somebody, the reason why I'm not being able to yeah, file it yeah, here yeah. is that you're not allowing me to record inside, even though there's no law against recording inside the yes, lobby. Yes, there is. No, so just, you know, it's stated, like, right on that's the wall. That's not a law. That's a sign. That's just a sign. You're law enforcement. You're not policy enforcement or sign enforcement. That's not a law. That's not a, a criminal statute. That's just a sign that anybody could put up there. That doesn't mean anything. So you're but not, what, okay. what, uh, what, let me finish. Uh, of course. And then... So, I'm here to file a complaint, just like anyone else would be here to file a complaint. Right. You're under threat of arrest. I have left the lobby under threat of arrest. I am here. Now I want somebody to come out here, a supervisor, to take my complaint against an officer. There should be no problem to do that. The sergeant even told me he would have somebody come out here and take my complaint. That's what I'm trying to do here. That's it. It's right. not that hard. Just like any other... If I wasn't recording, anybody else, anybody else coming here would have just been able to do a complaint... At the police department. That's the services you offer here. What else do you guys, you know, you take criminal complaints, officer complaints. This is what you do. This is your job. You don't you just pass me off to do it somewhere else. This is your job here, right? So in regards, you know, it's, you know, it's recorded in any police precinct, whether it's New York City, in anyone five boroughs or outside. It's not a law. Okay. It's posted. It, there's a reason why it's posted in that particular spot. Okay. But it's I'm, not I'm a law. Just, I'm just telling you what the rules are. Hey, how you doing, sir? All right. So, would would you like this information or no? I would like to file my complaint here. Okay, hang tight, sir. All right. Sure. Do you have like ID? like anybody else would. Do you have ID oh, I don't. I don't carry ID. No, of okay. Yeah. Okay. Ridiculous. Anyone else would be able to file a complaint against an officer in person, not on the phone. I want to be able to hold them accountable. I want to get it on camera, my complaint process, document that process for anyone else. Because what I've noticed, ladies and gentlemen, is that after I posted that live talking about how the NYPD thugs and tyrants took my freedom and took my property. So many of you commented, so many of you emailed me. I saw them, how the NYPD has treated people in the city, the people in the city like garbage for years for years they're like hey can you go document the process of filming this is what a journalist does i am documenting the process of filing a complaint holding our government accountable and they don't want that they just don't want that this is the complaint form that's the that's the form that you fill out yep. and once you're done filling it out um i'll be right there and let me know and then uh We'll go from there, okay? Alright. So at least they handed me a physical complaint form here. So for any of you, all of you that hit me up and uh, emailed me, commented, you want to see the process, here's the actual civilian complaint form that we all knew that they had. Let's fill this out. 
All right, guys, so we just finished filling out our complaint here, civilian complaint report. Let's submit it. Let's get a copy. Yes. Here it is. Okay, give me one second, okay? Sure. I'll be right with you. Yep. And also, can I speak to a supervisor regarding, um, I have some concerns over these vehicles over here. If I could speak to a supervisor and ask him a question about it. Okay, no problem. Yep, thanks. I appreciate it. Hey, how are you, Sarge? So, uh, we're going to file your complaint that you're making. Yep. I'm going to call CCRB, IAB, and file that for you. It's against a 6 1. Correct. Officer Kakuza and Sergeant Korchamet. All right. Um, I'm going to fill that out. I'm just going to get a number for you so you can have that. Sure. Um, any other issues you said? Um, yeah. So, Sergeant Pellegrino, 526. Yes. 526. Okay. So, uh, I was noticing that there's these cars with no license plate parked illegally here. Are those owned by the city of New York? Those are vouchered vehicles, sir. What does that mean? That means if they were taken into custody for some reason or not, and we're just waiting to tow that to the pound. So oh, okay, so they're, they're not owned by the... Yeah. So they're, they're just towed? Yes. Okay, gotcha. Right. I just wanted to make I'm sure. I'm going to fill this out for you. I'll come right back. All, All right. right. Thanks, Sergeant. Yep. And uh, before we... You're not allowed to film inside the precinct, station house facility. Yeah, but that's on a law, Sergeant. We can ask you to shut it down. If you don't shut it down, at some point you're trespassing. Yeah, trespassing in, in, in a place where I'm allowed to be. Do you see how, listen, I, I know you didn't make the policy. I know you didn't make the rule, Sergeant. I'm, I'm not saying you did. I'm just saying as a public servant, as yourself, like all of your public servants, which I respect and I, you know, I appreciate, um, you know, it's a good service you do for your community, but by locking out the public the freedom of press the first amendment that locking out the freedom of press is there's no governmental need significant you can there's no significant governmental um you know benefit in order to why what, what why would be the purpose in your words what would be the purpose concern safety, safety a camera never hurt anyone in, in, his, no, in inside the, the prison i'm not saying outside no you but i'm saying inside inside it's not a safety concern because the camera's never hurt but anyone it's only exposed I, corruption and listen, tyranny I, I, but I, how I, can it hurt I, someone I, so we ask you to leave multiple times no, but, inside the precinct. But who, how can a ca yeah? But you said it's a safety issue. How is a camera what, a safety issue? What, the law is what we've been told about that. It's, but it's not a not, safety if issue. If you're going to stay inside, keep recording, and not leave, and I ask you multiple times to leave. Well, under threat of arrest, I left. You, but you did. That's what I just, left I'm under just, threat of arrest because I was already arrested, and now yeah. you know. Hopefully, we can affect some change here. So, so again, there's no there's no need. You can't come up with one. As the you're, you're you're in charge of this of, of this department right now, this That's lobby right now, right? If you, if you, but there's if no I, need for it. Leave, Laws, there's purposes you leave, for them. You can be arrested for trespass. But why? Inside the facility. Because I'm recording, though, specifically you know, because I'm recording. You wouldn't ask anyone else to leave if somebody just walked in without recording, right? And you yeah, wouldn't ask them to not leave. Recording. Yeah. You, they could just hang out there all day, correct? They can hang out. Yeah. yeah. Sure. Okay. So the recording's the problem. I'm, I'm just keeping it real here. Oh, the recording's the problem. That's good to know. I mean. It's it, there's like there's said, there's I no had, benefit to the I NYPD. No if you want to record for your safety, like we can come out, we can talk to you out here. And then we'll but what if it was like a private thing where I, you know, I wanted to record and I wanted to. What if it was something where I wanted to be segregated, not in public, because anybody can record us out in here in public. And what if it was like someone taking, you know, you know, a, a special victims crime or something like that, and they felt comfortable recording, they wouldn't be able to record inside the station. So they just wouldn't, you know. What if they were you know, sexually assaulted by an officer and they wanted to just come and speak to somebody in private and they wanted to record because they're scared now. That's what I'm saying. It doesn't serve any significant benefit to not record, but it does, it does, but it, it does serve a significant benefit to allow recording. It benefits you. I understand that. Yeah. It benefits everyone. Transparency and accountability benefits everyone, Sergeant. I'm going to come back with this. You going to hang out? Yeah, I'm hanging out right here. I don't want to get arrested. My property stolen from me. Ridiculous. All right, guys, so we're going to wait here for the sergeant to come out. He had no answers for any of the good questions we were asking. So these are, you know, he did have that answer. These are um, vehicles that were impounded. I just wanted to make sure that, you know, NYPD weren't just keeping their personal vehicles here as storage. So these are impounded vehicles waiting to go to the impound lot. But anyway, the point is, he had no answer for our questions on why, why is it that you would arrest a citizen, a member of the public, a free man, a free woman, take their freedom away, take their property away from them, all because they were recording inside of a police station lobby. 
ridiculous here at the NYPD. Sorry about the wing. I was trying to do like 10 things at once. It's all right. All right. Um, I put the number for CCRB in the back for you. Okay. So call up, and I guess you're going to get a lot of number from them. I'm going to send the paperwork over there. Okay. Fill that with us. All right. All right, Sergeant. So I just so take my this. My name is on the bottom. So, Supervising Officer, the officer that received it. So, this one's yours, all right? All right, thank you, Sergeant. I, I do appreciate um, your professionalism in taking the complaint, uh, but the actions of you and your officers here today completely unacceptable. Right. Threatening to arrest a citizen. For engaging in a constitutionally protected activity, take my freedom away from me, steal my property, completely unacceptable. It's tyranny. That's what that's what it is. It's tyranny. I know, but that's what I'm saying is that's tyranny because you're you're violating my constitutional rights, and that's unacceptable. We the people will fight against tyranny with everything we have. But you can take up the complaint. And that's I'm following the proper channels, but I'm telling you, we will make change here. All right. You have the day you deserve, Sergeant. All right, guys. So we're just going to be getting out of the. New York City Police Department's 105th Precinct here in Queens, New York. Wow, so from the start, guys, they were going to arrest us, take our freedom away from us, steal our property, all over a camera. The camera of mass destruction. Where is the transparency? Where is the accountability? Where is the honor in the New York City Police Department? They took an oath to uphold the United States Constitution and our rights as citizens and they failed they dishonored themselves here today it's really sad we the people will hold them accountable Brooklyn arrested me they took it to the next level we will be getting that video shortly I have already requested the body camera footage so stay tuned to the channel for that please like comment and share this video so that way we can get our politicians and the people who make these unconstitutional policies aware of what's going on here. This is completely unacceptable behavior by our public servants and we the people will not stand for it. Brooklyn, now Queens. Next I'll be going to the Bronx, Manhattan and Staten Island. I will go to every single borough in this city. I will do everything in my power with the help of we the people to affect change here in New York City. This is unacceptable. They act like thugs and gangsters, not like public servants. We need to hold them accountable, and we will together. I really appreciate all of you guys. As always, let me know what you think about this one in the comment section below. Stay safe. God bless. I'll see you in the next video. Long Island Audit. Peace.